In this video, guys, we're gonna look at how does leverage really impact our trades? Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so we understand the concept of leverage. It basically means that we can put up a small percentage of the total notional value of the trade we're making. So it really increases the impact of, or amplifies, if you like, the movement of the trade. So the more leverage we have, the more money we're gonna make if the trade goes in our direction. And of course, the more money we can lose if it goes in the other direction. So it's worth pointing out now, guys, it's a double-edged sword. And I'm gonna show an example in a moment of how you know, we can really get the benefits of leverage if we have a profitable strategy, if we have a kind of good feel on the market and we're making profitable trades. It's worth noting that if we get it wrong, then we're gonna see the impact in the opposite direction. So let's be clear on that, guys. We don't win all the time, and I'm kind of, I've, I've alluded to that here as well in these examples. But even if you're struggling and you're making losing trades, you're gonna see the negative impact. But let's assume for this video that you have a profitable strategy, you have some losing trades, but you have some better winners. And over time, let's look at how just really using leverage to your advantage and using it prudently can really affect your bottom line. All right, so let's have a look. We've got two brokers here. One is broker A and they're offering 0.5% leverage. And one is broker B and they're offering 5% leverage. So let's say, for example, this broker A is Core Spreads Australia. Our channel sponsors link to them in the description below. I know that is their margin requirement for AUD, USD, DAX, Dow, and FTSE. Uh, US 30, German 30, UK 100, if you're looking for it on the Core Trader 2 platform. And broker B, any other broker. I know there's plenty of brokers out there and that's the margin requirement. So course price Australia, 0.5% for these. Obviously go and check it as a market information thing there, can change at any time, but at the moment of filming it, it is that. So how does that affect, considering the difference between 0.5 and 5%, that's a lot. So how does it actually affect you if you are a profitable trader, if you have a strategy that is making you money, how does it affect when you start using different position sizes? If you can imagine we had a market that was worth 28,000 at the moment, and that happens to be the Dow around the Dow, DAX different, FTSE different, AUD, USD, but the notional value of the market is that per one pound per point. And imagine now we had a 2,000 pound account, modest account size, but an account size that many traders who are starting out may have, and you say, okay, well, what can I trade? So if you're trading the Dow, US 30, you can trade one pound per point because it's going to cost you 1,400 pounds in margin to control one pound per point. Now, if you're using Core Spreads Australia, 0.5%, you can trade a pound a point and it's 140 pounds in margin, obviously a tenth of the size, 0.5%. Right, so if you're trading, let's say a pound a point, you're restricted to that, you've got a 2,000 pound account, that's all you can do. You've got no room for error really, that's it, you can't do any more, you just, that's the way you gotta do it. Let's imagine now we have five trades here, and these five trades, we have a winning 50 point trade, a winning 50 point trade, a losing 25 point trade, losing 25 points, winning 50 points. You know, that's not an unreasonable expectation, two to one risk reward ratio, on the trades that we're taking, and we've got three winners there, two losers. It might obviously go the other way, but just for illustrations, let's just look if we had a profitable strategy, profitable expectancy, and this is what we were doing. So, one pound a point, we make 50, 50, lose 25, lose 25. The net for us there is 100 pounds after these five trades. That's our profit. And that's all we can do if we're trading with broker B at 5%. Now, imagine we're trading with core spreads Australia and we're using 0.5%, now we might choose still to use just one pound a point. We might say, hey, you know what? We're still learning, we're still getting our feet with this strategy, we're still trying to find and optimize it and tweak it, so we've got the option. But let's say now we want to be a little bit more aggressive. We're prepared to take the additional risk that comes with dialing up the leverage. And we say, you know what? Now I wanna do two pound, five pound, or even go 10 pounds. You know, obviously understanding that, you know, if this goes the other way from us, it's gonna flip the table completely, but we have that option to dial it up or down as we see fit. So we can trade up to 10 pound a point here, and 10 pound a point will cost us 1,400. 
So we've still got room to breathe. Don't forget though, if we train 10 pound a point, obviously we've got to be careful with our stop size because 10 pound a point is going to swing us quite wildly. But if we accept that, look at the difference we've got. The total, if we do two pound a point, is obviously double, 200 pounds profit, five pound a point, 500 pounds profit, and 10 pound a point, 1,000 pounds profit. So we're making 10 times the amount, well obviously we are, but we're, we have the ability to make 10 times the amount. Of course, we have the ability to lose it, but Look at the difference and how more effective you can be if you have a profitable strategy. You can choose to dial up that leverage as and when, let's say the market conditions are favorable for you. Let's say you've got a good risk management in place. Let's say you've got a good system, a good strategy, good conditions, and you're trading well. Then it makes sense to be able to use that tool that's provided for you rather than being choked and throttled back by a 5% leverage. You bound to do, okay, can I do one pound a point? So, how long is that going to take you to actually build your account up and build it up and build it up? It's going to take you a long period of time. Now, we talked before about you know, building up small accounts, and at some point, you almost have to take a little bit more risk if you want to build the account up because otherwise it's gonna take you ages. Look how long that takes you. Now I'm not suggesting for any second here that you just go crazy and stick all your money on and leverage. Of course, that's your choice. You know, you accept the risks with trading, you can lose all your money. We understand that this is the game that we're in. But the option to be able to dial it up or down from kind of one to 10 really gives you chance to say, you know what, this is a good setup. I accept the risk on this. I'm gonna actually put the throttle down and increase my leverage. And if you're trading with someone like Core Spreads Australia, 0.5% on these things, you have that option. So it's worth checking out, guys. Go and check them out. There's a link to them in the description uh, below. And you know, really tight spreads as well low margins and also stuff like crude oil. You know, crude oil can vary from like 1% to 10%. You know, 10% margin with some brokers for crude oil, 1% at the time of filming uh, with core spreads Australia. So go and check them out, guys. And that is how leverage really can impact your trading account. Take care, bye-bye.